Wait, how long have you guys been here? JB's been here far too long. He's already done two workout classes. <laughs> what? Bianca's called me out for being part of the boys club. I've never seen a boys club exist, but if she feels that way, I take her feelings pretty seriously. Hi, Hi David. I'm Peggy. David, nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. We're a team dynamic. We gotta listen to each other. So from now on, I'm gonna step up and be a little bit more of a leader. Jog in place. I'm someone that Jog loves physical place. activity. It's good for the mind, body, and I figure why not bring everyone together and do something a little different. So what are we doing here, Jack? I think we're gonna get beat up. Oh my God. The reason why JB planned this workout is to show off his athletic abilities and show how inadequate we are in the athleticism side. Thanks for showing up. You yeah. Know, I feel like we needed a little time away from the office. Yeah. Just take care of your body, take care of your mind, bring a team together, yeah. just getting it going. And it's beautiful. What do you think, David? So, you, okay. You, you so now we're it. just going to do some jogging, like just in place. I'm gonna, gonna just out of curiosity, because I feel like this is important for every workout I ever do. What's the length of this class? <laughs> <laughs> Good, come on, come on, come on. Just like this. Oh yeah. Right, try to switch. Yep, there you go. Oh God, have there mercy. There you go. Come on, give me five more. Come on. <gasps> we got 30 seconds. <sighs> the sand like adds an extra level. Oh, I hate work. This is why I'm like, I never work out on the beach. And good. And you're gonna sprint, Bianca. I'm gonna sprint? Yeah, all the way to oh. that hill. Gosh. Then you come back down. Back. I'm first. Did you have an escalator? Right. Maybe someone who's got a faster sprint. All right, I'll do <laughs> I get what JB is trying to do here, and of course I appreciate any effort towards team building, but why couldn't it have been cocktails? Hey, why are you breathing so heavy? Are you okay? I'm not breathing heavy. I feel like you're I'm, breathing heavy. I'm not breathing heavy. My blood type is like Vienna sausage. Like I can't do this. <laughs> My blood type is champagne. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. There you go. Oh my God. He's running home. He's gonna jump in his car and leave. Good, I'm good. Yeah, no, you're good. Come on. Watch Peggy's. Peggy's messing up. Three, two. Shut up, JP. One. Good job. <sighs> All right. We'll take one second, little break. All right. I'll be back. We're gonna do another drill. Okay, one second. Okay. You be back. Where are you going? I'm gonna talk to the bushes. <laughs> Take a 10 minute break. Do you want water? Okay, 10 minutes. Buddy? Uh, you okay? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, thanks so much for bringing us out to this workout this morning. <laughs> yeah. Only morning he could do it. Monday morning early. Celebrity trainers, you know, they're only available at certain times for people. Yeah. Well, you're, you're doing good, man. You're hanging in. Yeah, a few throw ups. Yeah. I'm getting through it. I mean, it, that's pretty much poor for the course for you, buddy. Dude, you honestly, right, knowing that I was going to be able to have you alone today yeah. because we need to talk about Glass House. Our offer is currently standing at $6.4 million, 60-day close, contingent on appraisal and inspection. I cannot wait any longer for this to get done. I know. I'm dealing with so many different buyers and so many different tough situations, and this one I need to put away. It's been a couple of weeks now, and we still don't have an answer on the Glass House. It's coming down to the last few days before my buyers go down to Miami and I lose those clients for a good while. It's a very important deal to me. It's making a great commission on top of building a business with the client themselves. So I need him to push it. Peggy wants to bid too. I know, I, I, want, I know, I know, I'm just saying. Let me get Jack on the phone. He's been managing the owner's relationship. Um, we're sort of divvying up the work on it, so. But let me see, let's see what he I says. I threw up for you. The owner of the Glass House runs multiple businesses across all different states in the country. So it's sometimes he isn't the most available or responsive. Jack is the one who has the relationship with the owner. At this point, the offer's been out there for the last week or two with nothing to give back to Michael and Peggy's clients. So if I need to step in and call the owner myself, I will. But I think Jack's got it under control. Peggy. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Um, glass house. I want to give Jim and you one opportunity to come up. One last final bid. Five all cash. Five all cash? Yeah. A, that's a so ridiculous what offer. Take? I get it's low. I mean, it's really low. It's not low, it's really low. I have to make a decision on him because I'm going to lose Michael's people too. Okay. All right, so can you give me an answer within an hour? I'll call him and say. See? Okay. All right, thanks. All right. Yeah, of course. 
You'll be known as the guy in the glass house wherever you are, if it's in East Hampton or if it's on Montauk Highway. You know, five million bucks together, two million for uh, the structure. That's my, those are my two offers. And the property can actually fit on the, the yes. lot you have? So Jim's request, it's unconventional, but not unheard of. This is the Hamptons, money just flows. And if someone wants to purchase a house and move it somewhere else, do it. Your wish is my command. Okay, great, appreciate it. All right, bye. JB. All right. What? So, I have two proposals for you. And before you get all hot-headed and heavy. I'm not gonna get hot-headed. I represent Jim and that's what I, have to, what I have to do. We're still at five, all cash, no contingencies, or he came up with a proposal of $2 million to purchase the structure, just the structure, all cash, no contingencies, contingencies, and your seller could just sell the land separately. We'll deal with all the consequences and all the added costs for moving the structure, obviously. Yeah. It's, I, it's unique. It, no, 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 look, I, I, admire, <laughs> I admire the creativity here, for sure. Just present it. I'll present it quickly, but and we gotta kind of get no, moving. I mean, but I, I do, I admire the creativity. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. The owner is never gonna accept that. Hey, hey man, what's going on? Not too much. Hey, listen, I we need to uh, we need to give these guys an answer in terms of which offer we're going with the glass house. Uh, Jim is willing to just stay at five million all cash, or they wanted to purchase a structure of two million. They're gonna move it, and then the owner could sell the land separately, uh, but it's probably not gonna be what what we want to do here. So uh, if you can, Jack, if, uh, just present it quickly. All right, awesome. Yeah, give me a call back quick. I want to I wanna wrap this up. We got to move on to the next thing. OK, thanks. Bye. So happy that we get this break right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. I needed a second. I can't Working believe that Michael's going to negotiating this deal in this condition right now. He's struggling. <laughs> yeah, he's struggling. This is not the time to put your best foot forward in a negotiation. He's really going through it. I he right needs now. a win. We're all on the same page then. All right, cool. Let's get it done. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Mike. Um, I want some good news, bro. You good? You got I it. I need good news. In you my got life. it. You got it. I got it. Done. Done. So let's get the appraiser done. No joke. Yeah. Love you. Okay. It's amazing. You had a better deal. It wasn't about you. You had a better deal. I know it's not about me, but at least it got done. That's all I, I care about. I want to expedite it quicker, bro. Finally, the summer is changing. Roller coaster was going down. Now we're coming up. Commission's going to be huge, over $150,000. I got it, and I knew I would. I'm so happy. It's done in the books. Let's make it happen. Oh, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Okay, we're celebrating. Okay, okay. <laughs> all, right. all right, now let's go work out. Come on, guys. We have work to do. Let's work well, out. I, I sold the glass house to my we're buyer, so. It didn't oh, close. It did not close yet. yet. We have to do the inspection. It still has to appraise. Awesome. I don't consider it a loss. I didn't lose the client. He's still going to work with me and find something else. Now I have to focus on finding him a different home and selling Duck Pond. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Thank you. You just uh, owe me a dinner then. Uh, yes. I'm I think we hit 45 minutes, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It was no, 10 no. minutes break, so we're going to get, we have All right, let's go. 10, 10 more. 10 more. Yeah, let's do a little bit okay. more. Okay. Right. okay. Fabulous. I won't stop when the day expires. You ought to know there's a fighter in me. Check this out. Marissa, there is nothing like this property. We could put the tennis court here. We could do anything we want. I mean, this is sick. And look, you just keep on going back. You own all of this land. Marissa, to me, is a buyer that she's very easy on me, and she trusts what I have to say. She's a big time attorney. She goes all over the place. We've been working together for about two to three months now, and I finally found the perfect property that just went on the market. So I have to get Marissa on that FaceTime video call. She knows if I get excited about something and I'm freaking out, that it's something that is worth her while. This is gonna be the house you buy. I know it. I know you're gonna love it. All right, so this is your new home, and you haven't even seen it yet. With the glass house going through, this could be a huge week for me. I could sell almost $10 million worth of properties in one week. This is all of yours. Oh my God, I love it already. Woo! 
so. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. <laughs> you in a little bit of a hurry? I apologize. I had to rush to the back. I had to take a okay. video. I get excited. You know how it is with real estate. Well, I know you. <laughs> yeah, you know me, too. So tell me a little bit about the inside. I okay. saw the outside. Well, it's 4,500 square feet. And if you want to take a little tour on your own, I'll tell you what the layout is. Upstairs is three bedrooms, okay. one really nice first floor ensuite, and two full baths. And then on the lower level, you have two more bedrooms, a big rec area, egress to the pool. It's great. Oh, my god. Yeah. All right. you want to just give your client a tour around? Yeah, I want to give my client a tour. Thank you so much. Hey, Marissa. Hi, Mike. I'm going to take you around. Here is your junior primary. So this is the wow. biggest room. It's on the first floor. The bathroom is absolutely sick. We got Carrera floors, Carrera countertops, wow. a gigantic wow. shower with a mosaic inside. Wow. It is awesome. It is ridiculous. So, Gosh, I'm, so excited. I'm sweating. I'm so excited, Marissa. This is sick. So FaceTime tours is something that could be extremely boring to the average user, but I spice it up a little bit. I bring that energy because you're dealing with them on a really tiny screen. But if you got a big six foot five man jumping on couches, looking at stuff, getting so excited, just showing everything and bringing that excitement, I think it brings a different element to it. Let's keep going. Let's keep on having some fun. Let's look around. So you notice you have your gorgeous, gigantic kitchen. This is sick. So now we have the den over here. Dining room. So I mean, literally, you guys can have a huge party here. Have a great time with all your friends. And then I'm going to bring you upstairs to the primary bedroom. So let me take you to the light in the stairwell. Look at it. This is so much better than everything you've seen in this price range. 100%. Oh my god. Marissa, this would be your primary bedroom. This is sick. Look at these ceilings. Incredible. These are at least 10 foot ceilings. Fireplace. Look at this. Now it even gets crazier. More Carrera in the bathroom. Freestanding tub. I'm losing it. And then boom. Check this out. So this is 2.6 acres of the best piece of land in Southampton. This is perfect. This is your one balcony. That's your second balcony. Gorgeous pool. This is a must buy. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't hear you say that again. I, I, you know I have to have this house. I know you do. Every single box, it is far superior to everything we've seen in this price range, like everything. Everything. And, and how do you feel about price? What, what do you feel like you want to come in at? I, I think because of the bidding war issues that, that have been going on right now, we should go in full ask, $2.6 million. 30-day close contingent on just getting that appraisal done. That's it. What do you think about doing a full ask, maybe on the condition that they take it off the market? Okay, so yes, I'm going to be very aggressive with the agent and tell them what our demands and what we want if we're going to come in full price. We will want this off the market, and that's how I'll present this. All right? Yeah, let's pull the trigger. All right. Yay! Hell yeah, full price. Ugh. The biggest thing is getting it off the market right now because as soon as they see that I put my stamp on something, I know a lot of agents are gonna be circling around like little sharks trying to take away my deal. I heard a scream, is that a good thing? A scream is always a good thing in real estate, <laughs> usually. We're excited about the property, we love it. So we're looking to put a serious offer in. What's the offer? We wanna come in full price and we wanna get this done right now. 30 day close but we're asking for something in return. I do not want to see another agent in here. I want this to be done with me, and I want this off the market. So it's all cash? It's not going to be all cash. Do you have the approval? Well, we'll be able to get you the financing as soon as possible. We already are pr pretty much pre-approved. Pretty much? Pretty much. I know how excited you get, but look, I can't go to my seller and say this is a maybe deal. Full price, of course, is great, but to take it off the market, I mean, what if your buyer doesn't perform? Remember, you know, last time. Yeah, well, this is gonna be different than last time. 